It's been here for two months and guys, this is the Z1, it's not Z1. This is a TI pump. Uh, it's a Hellcat 525 pump and it, all it is is just with a Z1 adapter. And we didn't, we didn't need these adapters. You don't have to get these adapters. You can get this pump on eBay, but a lot of them could be fake. I got, before I got this one, I got a fake one. So I just went ahead and ordered from Z1. And obviously I got the bracket with it, but this is just a nice little touch. And AMS has something similar, just a little bit longer, which is pretty useful. Um, I used metal wiring on my last car and I mean, it held, it was perfectly fine. And I also, of course, got the relay kit. You're gonna need this to push all 525 out of this pump. And we'll be doing this in the same video in this install. And of course, we got our extra lines, the filter. Do not use your OEM filter. I do not recommend it. You can, but I just recommend getting a new one that will fit this new pump. Now, let's see what's inside the relay kit. It's just a relay kit, guys. It doesn't get any much more simple than this so we'll be running the red one to the battery the blue one's gonna go somewhere the black one's gonna go somewhere and the yellow one's gonna go somewhere all right guys it is time what the all right guys get access to your back seat just like that now once your back seat is taken out now we're gonna get to the pump right there also, if you are doing a different pump, you don't have to do this relay kit if you're getting an AMS or a different type of pump. Now, what you wanna do is just kinda move this a little bit over. These three bolts, one, two, three. I didn't have this on my Q50. I mean, I'm just assuming you just... All right, this was my, this was my first time battling this. All I did was I put this underneath like so and pushed on it until it just came off oh the dust you're talking about oh my no, god it's real dusty all right guys we're gonna wipe this down a little bit this is way too dirty wow all right if you want to use the socket it's a size eight to get all these bolts out all right i'm going to a screwdriver i think it's gonna be a little bit easier anyways you get the gist you're doing all of them And of course guys this doesn't get any easier the last bolt is literally coated what the actual f i guess we'll be doing this for a few minutes to get to the bolt oh not too shabby eh? let's take this off that was caked on. Now we we'll have to get to the bottom. Oh my gosh. Crusty, dusty central over here. Just keep wiggling it left and right, up and down, wherever, and just slowly start taking it out. All right, guys, once you pull it up enough, don't yank it out. You're gonna wanna unplug that right there and they should all come out. Once you disconnect that right there, you should, you, that clip right there, Anyways, we got the pump out. Oh. Now you gotta be careful to dump the rest of the fuel. Oh gosh. Alright guys, here we are done. Just kinda close this up a little bit so the car doesn't smell. And we're gonna get inside and start assembling the fuel pump. There we go. Now remove that beeper chicken. Squeeze this down. Use a flathead. Pop that out. Getting to the tabs. Now remember where these plugs go. The blue is gonna be on the left if you're looking at it from this way. And the orange will be in the middle and the yellow will be on the right. That's it. That's it? Yeah. 
All right, guys, now we're gonna get to the pump. All right, guys, you tilt this a little bit back and it should just come right out. Basket's pretty good. just comes right out well the little o-ring will be right there i guess for now but you do not want to cut or damage it or you or you will have fuel cuts and you do want to keep where'd i go and you do want to keep that little adapter as well all right guys it's time so another unfortunate thing even though z1 resells it they do not cut it some brands do but we'll show you how to cut it all right guys to measure it all we did was put that little piece on we drew a marker line all the way across so we know where we are cutting kind of just wing it now we're just gonna put a little piece of paper so no plastic gets in and now we're gonna start evening out the line all right guys this is how we did it this is what yours should look like. It's not going to be perfectly smooth, obviously, but this is what it needs to look like. All right, now we're going to be cutting. And then the one from the fuel pump, where we're going to be connected. What? What are you doing? You. All right, I'm going to cut, I'm going to take off just a little bit enough to um out by that little middle piece right here so. and now we will be doing the same exact thing on the pump both the wires and just clamp it down All right, we cramped one down, one wire, three or three more to go. Now we're connecting together black to black wire, red to blue. We're just putting a lighter to it slightly, not to burn it, just to make it smaller around the wires. So it'll look like this. Again, all you're doing is just sliding it slightly all around, not to burn anything. All right, guys. So we forgot to run that cable through there it's not gonna fit so what we're doing is we're heating up an allen key and we're gonna just make it slightly bigger it literally took us not even 10 seconds to do this so if you did what we did just do what we just did but before you install it make sure your little plastic piece and the rubber is on run the wire first And then line up the pump with the hole inside. All right guys, so you will have it like this and now we're gonna install the Z1 brackets. All right guys, it should look like this now. Pretty gnarly. Now we will be adding on this fuel filter and not use the OEM one. All right guys, so you should look like this. Just take it off. Plug that one and plug that piece as well. Don't forget about the springs on both sides before installing the top hat on. Alright guys, the top hat is on. 
make sure everything's plugged in and the little side clip is in and obviously the yellow little piece has to go back to its place do you remember if this was in the way yeah it is whatever Thanks. all right guys this is what it looks like the pump is this done this is how you all right guys make sure you get this serial number relay kit and i showed you guys the wire before so on the red we're putting on a 12 gauge for the battery why is it blurry Fuck. all right on the red wire all we're doing is we're putting this so it connects to the battery also we personally did quick disconnects um so if i ever need to go back to oem for some odd reason i can so yeah this is what we did we put electrical tape all around and now we're ready to go to the car and get it installed all right guys you're gonna be wait which one's which oh that okay put on this uh nasatak okay step one done all right guys once you're at this step once it's you put the leveler in you're gonna plug it in to here it's gonna be a tight fit but you're gonna have to manage it to get it all in all right guys you want to make sure that one's clipped in all the way on both sides forgot well i forgot um you're gonna put this on first and then you're gonna plug it in get your first screw on all right now we're gonna plug in the fuel connection all right guys first try we're gonna listen to it all right quiet on set thing is beefy. Golly. All right, guys, we're gonna remove this piece. We're gonna be undoing this little piece right here. I don't know where the plastic piece went. This thing will be right here. Just gonna use tweezers, squeeze on it. It'll come out. Guys, this was the easiest thing to do. All you're doing, you're just, these tabs right here on both ends, you're just pushing this towards you and that's it and it'll just come right out and we are testing with the copper wire that's where we're gonna put the um the red cable we're gonna pull it through that little hole and that is it so this is where i'm gonna be leaving the cable now getting to the copper right there all we're doing is we're just attaching this together and pulling it right through guys and that is it home touch home home base i don't know all right guys i'm gonna try to keep you on the loop Disconnect the negative battery just in case. And we have this red cable ready to go in the positive. Now back to here. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna lift this up. We're gonna lift it a little bit here so we can just run this red wire to the back, okay? Come on. All right, all I did was I ran it. I just literally pushed it with my fingers right through here. And now we're just gonna be right all the way through across. And then we're gonna be just running it all the way across. You guys already know how to do this. Yes, this is what we got going on. Again, I just moved it and then I just pushed it again throughout. It's going, and I pushed it with my fingers all the way across right here, up here. So now all we have left to do is just get to here with the wiring. My tools, okay. Let me get me razor. Nice and carefully make an incision here. Make sure you don't cut your OEM wires. No, extra points if you do. Alright guys, the most sketchiest part of this install ever. Cutting a factory wire, guys. What the f Oh, sick. Uh, <laughs> just do it. Put it back, put it back. Alright guys, so we cut the wire. The only green wire that there is there. And the yellow wire from the relay kit is gonna go to this side right here that's gonna be towards the pump and the blue wire is gonna go to up to the harness side we're doing quick disconnects like i said so we put the females on that we're gonna put the males on these or female male whatever and like i mentioned if we ever need to connect them back together we can and take off the relay kit but 
I don't think we're gonna need to, but just in case. All right, but before we do any of that, we're gonna strip these wires a little bit so we can put the quick disconnects on them. All right, guys, one of them is done. I'm gonna put a quick disconnect on it. All right, guys, quick disconnect is on. Well, not yet, but... Well, almost on, but you know what I mean. We're doing the same thing that we did with the relay kit. Yeah. You got this, dude. All right, guys, we made that one male and this one a female. So if they need to connect, we'll take off the relay kit, like I mentioned. Get, get another piece of tape. This is what it looks like with our quick disconnects. Now we're gonna be plugging them in and now we're just gonna ground and that's it. We're gonna ground the black cable to here for now. We didn't sand it down, we don't have any sandpaper, but this is just a quick test. We'll make it pretty later. First thing, like I said, blue cable is going to the harness side. Just plug it in just like that. And then the yellow cable is gonna go towards the pump side. All right, guys, I'm gonna be plugging it in. All right, guys, moment the truth. Oh my God. Oh my God. It sounds significantly louder. Moment of truth. Wires is not my forte. Platinum has done some wiring. This was a big job for him, so thank you to him. But anyways, guys, this car is almost done. All right, guys, this was it. The fuel pump is in, the relay kit is in. All I did was make a hole, run the red cable throughout the whole car, put it behind the seatbelt all the way up. And I ran the negative out and just right there. Didn't shave anything, don't need to. That is it, guys. That is it.